and we have the Proline Scalar Shocks. How's it going guys? Colin here with Tracks RC and today we have episode 15 in the Axial SCX-10 2 upgrade series. If you are not familiar with this upgrade series, this is where we purchase products for our Axial SCX-10 2 and we install them and showcase the products for you guys. Last episode's upgrade was the RC 4 wheel drive rear bumper and today's upgrade is the Proline Prospec Scalar Shocks. If you are not familiar with Proline Racing, they make very high quality performance upgrades for almost any RC out there from tires and wheels to shocks and bodies. So these particular shocks are the Proline Prospec Scalar Shocks in the 90 to 95 millimeter configuration. So we'll show you guys some of the details of these shocks and then we'll also go into how the installation process went. And a big shout out to Proline Racing for sending these shocks our way. So what's really nice about these Proline shocks is that they are pre-assembled. All you have to do is fill them with oil and then install them on the car and you're ready to go. These shocks also do have a 3.5 millimeter shock shaft, which is a huge shock shaft compared to the stock shocks that come on your Axial SCX-10 2. They also do have some nice blue anodizing and they do come with dual rate or single rate spring options. And included in the package is also a 5mm shock end to add 5mm to your shock. One last thing is they do have a single X-ring seal inside to prevent leaks. And they are sold in pairs, so if you're going to want all four, you are going to have to buy two pairs. So now that we got the details out of the way, let's talk about the installation process for these shocks. So to fill these shocks with the oil, Proline recommends using a 30 to 50 weight oil and we decided to go with a 35 weight oil, see how that works. We might end up changing that up in the future, we're just starting with the 35 weight oil. Pretty much all you have to do is pop off the shock cap, um, fill it with the oil, bleed out any of the extra air that you can, and then you will want to bleed the shock oil out so that there is no hydro lock. So once you've done that, you can remove the stock shocks, removing two screws for each shock, and then you can just reinstall those screws back on with the Proline shocks installed. We do have the Vanquish VS410 chassis kit, and these shocks seem to mount up really good to this chassis kit. However, you will have to use the stock pivot ball up top because the pivot ball that's provided is just a little bit too big and the stock one fits properly. But that really is no big deal. So again, Proline went the extra mile and made this installation of the shocks super easy. So these shocks do feel a lot smoother than the stock shocks because these do have the dual rate springs. That just makes such a big difference, guys. And we cannot wait to get this thing out on the trail. However, it will be a little bit before we get this thing out onto the trail because we still don't have tires and a body, but that will be upcoming soon. Definitely be sure to check these shocks out at ProlineRacing.com. We will put a link in the description uh, where you can find them. Also in that description, you'll see a link to the rest of this playlist where you can go check that out. And then we'll also have a link to our website. And there you will find reviews on this car and many of our other cars. We definitely recommend these shocks for your next scale rig. And we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Tracks RC.